Today is Tuesday, June 4th, and I'm just wondering about the Dallas Stars. And now, a word from our title sponsor. Are all financial advisors fiduciaries? Fewer than you think, not knowing could reduce your lifestyle. Hi, I'm Mitch Kramer, founder and CEO of Fluent Financial. A fiduciary is a regulatory term to reduce conflicts of interest in wealth management. A fiduciary always works in your best interest. A non-fiduciary advisor might put their compensation or company ahead of yours. At Blunt Financial, we are certified financial planners acting as fiduciary advisors. To learn more, go to FluentFinancial.com or Fluent Financial's YouTube channel. There's been a significant development in your laundry room. Laundry detergent sheets, not dryer sheets, but the same concept. Paper thin, remarkably efficient. Just toss one into your load of clothes and voila! Sparkling clean and smelling great. And as a plus, they're hypoallergenic for those with sensitive skin. Jugs of detergent. Jugs that just wind up in trash heaps. It's easy to get your laundry detergent sheets. Just go to the link in today's podcast episode. Introducing Star Power Smart Home Solutions, where cutting-edge technology meets effortless living. Control your entire home with just a tap on your smartphone. Adjust the lights, set the perfect temperature, and ensure your home is secure, all from the palm of your hand. Star Power has the experts that will transform your house into a secure smart home. Experience the ultimate solution in comfort and security for your family. Get started at GetStarPower.com. Star Power, where innovation meets home. When Edmonton finished off the Dallas Stars in six games of the NHL semifinals, I was shocked is probably too strong a word because Edmonton's a good team. Surprised? Too weak a word. Stunned. That's about the right word because I believe the Stanley Cup winner would be the Dallas Stars. This club seemed the perfect blend of experienced veterans and salty, good young players. In rounds one and two, Dallas took out Las Vegas and Colorado, and those two teams are the winners of the last two Stanley Cups. Against Edmonton, they jumped to a two games to one lead in the best of seven series. And then in game four, they bolted out of the gate to score two quick goals and led 2 nothing after the first period. Everything seemed to be going well. Jake Ottinger was playing well, and the offense was producing enough to win hockey games. And then everything began to unravel. Edmonton scored five goals in the last two periods of game four to win going away five to two. And then Edmonton jumped to a three nothing lead in game five before the Stars scored a late. Eh, it made the score look respectable goal. That meant between the second period of game four Four. And the first two periods of game five, Edmonton outscored the Stars eight to nothing. That seemed almost inconceivable that a run like that would happen. Game six, the elimination game. The Stars simply peppered Edmonton goalie Stuart Skinner with shots. They swarmed around the net especially in the second and third periods. And they couldn't get anything through until mid-third period. And that goal by Marchment made it 2-1. And Edmonton hung on grimly to win the game 2-1 and the series four games to two. Since leading 2-0 in game four, for the rest of this series... The Stars would be outscored 10-2. to 2. 
in the last two games in which Edmonton got five goals, four of them were on the power play. And for the series, the Dallas power play, 0 for 14. For the six-game six game series, Jay Cottinger was, he was okay, but not great. The offense was barely okay. For the second straight year, the Stars were eliminated in the series leading up to the Stanley Cup Finals. This is such a disappointment. The pain is real, especially for these passionate Stars fans. They, they can't believe this offense would in the last 160 minutes of this series score only two goals. But wait, this is still a good hockey team. This season was not a mirage. This was a terrific hockey team this year. And the core is intact. 14 members of that core are under contract for next year. And more kids like Wyatt Johnston, Logan Stankovin, Thomas Harley, and Maverick Bork are on the way. And more good news. The Stars have 15 to $16 million in cap space, but they do have some very good players who are free agents and must, could be re-signed. Joe Pavelski, Matt Duchesne, I think the most important one, the defenseman Chris Tanev, and the restricted free agent Thomas Harley. He isn't going anywhere. He's turned into a wonderful player. But age is starting to creep into this team. Ryan Souter, the defenseman, is 40. Jamie Benn is 35. Tyler Sagan and Evgeny Dadanov are 33. Roddick Fox is 31. And those free agents? Joe Pavelski's 40. Tanef is 34. Duchesne is 33. But Jim Nill, the general manager, is a master at assembling rosters. And I think Stars fans have every right to believe he will do it again this offseason. But that's little solace for Stars fans or the, the fans of any eliminated team anywhere to have to hear, wait till next year. Today's episode brought to you by Fluent Financial, Retire Sooner, Better Lifestyle. And by Star Power, love where you live. Just Wondering is a production of DSP Media for FanStream Sports. You can find Norm's show along with other great programming at FanStreamSports.com. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, hit follow. And every weekday, a fresh new episode of Just Wondering will be delivered right to you. And if you enjoy this podcast please share it with a friend. Finally, should you have questions or comments, please share them with us by going to X and our address at Norm's Clubhouse. That's just wondering with Norm Hitzkus. And every day, I'll be just wondering about something. And I'm Mary Hitzkus, and I'm just wondering too.